Hi, I'm Nemi and welcome to Mike and Nemi Plus. Um, this is my last pregnancy update for baby number three. I'm currently in the boys room because this is the only quiet room in the house right now. So I'm going to show you my belly, I'm going to give you my measurements and then we'll talk a little bit about how, how I've been feeling, the contractions I've been getting and the breast milk that's been kind of coming out. I actually missed a month of update because I've been um, busy editing videos and I didn't get to film a 8 month update I think. So this will be like 8 and 9 month update combined. My belly is still pretty small for only having two weeks left, but I still feel like pretty big, pretty huge. It's, uh, I don't know. Pregnancy. It looks very pregnant. Um, apparently I'm like the size of a watermelon right now. And we'll also compare my measurements with last updates measurements. Bust is 35. Under bust is... 32 waist at my belly button 40.5 hips are 39.5 this week i'm 37 weeks your baby's officially full term braxton hicks signs of labor you may get braxton hicks contractions more often now i've been getting them and they could be longer lasting and more uncomfortable than they have been so these contractions are irregular contractions and they could last for weeks before you actually go into labor which i'm kind of scared of because why am i getting contractions i mean i guess because i'm pregnant but with galahad and zeke i never got any contractions and i never went into labor on my own so i'm kind of scared because then why am i getting contractions now when i've never gotten contractions before does that mean that i might go into labor and like what will happen to my to my c-section then hi galahad's brushing his teeth <gasps> good job he lost his tooth right popped right out and your grown-up tooth is growing now do you see it okay go look in the mirror while you brush so you know which side you did and gently many babies now have a full head of hair <gasps> oh my gosh around one inch long your baby is bigger than the size of a romaine lettuce. Two weeks ago, the baby has fully grown fingernails and the uterus is up under your ribs. So sometimes I do feel feet like near my ribs and near the top of my ribs. I also noticed that I have been sleeping kind of really weird. Like I usually have a hard time getting up, but now I'm having a hard time going to sleep and I think it's like a hormonal change that makes you able to stay up when the baby wakes up at night to feed um, and have like shorter intervals of wake and shorter intervals of sleep. The other day when I was examining my pregnancy and my development, I noticed that um, I had a little bit of... There's something called colostrum, which is the first breast milk stage. And it's almost like a clear kind of golden colored liquid that is the first stage of breast milk i had a little bit of colostrum developing <laughs> and the last thing was that i've noticed that i've started to crave a lot of spicy food and spicy food actually induces labor so when your uterus is up close so close to your intestine sometimes they can um bounce off of each other in terms of activity and activeness so when you eat spicy food, it could activate your uterus more and induce labor. So I'm kind of scared because I've been craving spicy food and I've been eating spicy food and I've been getting Braxton Hicks contractions. So I really hope I don't go into labor because that would mean that I would have to do an emergency C-section instead of the planned booked C-section that we have with our OB and family doctor. I really want her to do my surgery because she did my incision, my scar. She sewed up my scar really nicely last time. So that's why I really wanted her again. Because every doctor will have a different method of how they tidy up a scar. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I have to continue my doctor's visits. I've been kind of feeling like tired and nauseous as well recently. 
um, and then the contractions they don't they feel kind of uncomfortable so but we do have a baby registry I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it open for after the baby's born but for now it is open we're always thankful for all the different ways that you do support us even the time that you do spend to watch our videos and all of your encouraging and kind words as well so thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you soon bye